hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about a bunch of new releases that you need to go out and read we're talking about new releases from the past couple of months going right up to new releases coming at the end of the year i have read a good amount of these i haven't read all of them yet but i will be doing so as always we have an eclectic mix of books across many many genres so let's talk about some exciting new books shall we first up from the 14th of july from chatham and windus we have tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabrielle zevin this is a new literary novel telling the story of sam and sadie two kids who meet in a children's hospital who then go on to create games together over the next 30 years this book is a love letter to gaming but more than that it is a love letter to friendship this is character focused literary brilliance it is perfectly well-rounded one of the best things i have read in a long time from carcanet on the 28th of july we have scale by nina gorgi this is a poetry collection tracing life to its limits exploring scales of distance and time and temperature. These poems focus on the extremes of the natural world, often dipping into the strange and the dark. Packed full of gorgeous descriptions and imagery, this is a joy to read. From the 2nd of August, from And Other Stories, we have Boulder by Eva Balthazar, translated by Julia Sanchez. This novel tells the story of two married women living in Reykjavik when Samsa decides that she wants to have a baby at 40 years old. Her wife Boulder is then dragged along on a journey that she finds to be alienating and thankless. Another one of the best new releases I have read in a very long time. This is Exact and Raw and packs a massive punch. Gorgeous complex explorations of motherhood and freedom. I can't recommend it enough. From the 4th of August, from Serpent's Tale, we have Is This Love by C.E. Riley. This literary novel is narrated by our protagonist Jay in the days, weeks and months following their marriage collapse. And the book is also interspersed with Jay's wife's diary entries from this time. This is a fascinating look at a marriage collapse through the eyes of two massively unreliable narrators. Full of contradiction, and messiness and raw feeling. This is an uncomfortable read, but often an insightful and sometimes funny one. From the 18th of August from Doubleday, we have The Queen of Dirt Island by Donal Ryan. Donal Ryan's eighth novel or something, <laughs> this is set in Tipperary Island and follows a story of three generations of the Aylward women who all live under one roof. Donal Ryan is a stunningly perceptive and achingly beautiful writer and this is no exception. Full to the brim with tenderness and human understanding, this book massively touched me. Please go and read it. From the 30th of August from Tinder Press, we have The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell. Set in Renaissance Italy, this historical novel tells the story of a young duchess as she is thrust into her first marriage and a treacherous court. This is a big release of this year and I am just as big a Maggie O'Farrell fan as the next reader. I'm expecting beautiful prose, vivid description, everything else that she totally smashed in Hamnet. If you've read this one already, please let me know how you found it in the comments. From the 1st of September by Fourth Estate, we have Babysitter by Joyce Carol Oates. Set in the 1970s in Detroit in the wake of several unresolved killings from the infamous babysitter, a few different local residents' lives are thrown together. Another extremely accomplished writer here, I totally devoured this book. Joyce Carol Oates' prose never disappoints. It is clear and precise and leaves you hanging in all of the right places. This was intriguing and illuminating and thrilling, a really good read. From the 22nd of September by Daunt Books Publishing, we have A Helping Hand by Celia Dale. Newly released from the 1960s, this one tells a story of Josh and Maisie who love to lend a hand to elderly ladies, although behind the respectability and the politeness and the cups of tea, 
something more terrible lurks. I am reading this one currently and totally loving it. Storm books are so good at rediscovering modern classics, usually ones with a quirky and more sinister undertone and this one seems to be no exception. Coming on the 3rd of October from Abacus is Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng. This literary novel tells a story of 12 year old Bird and his father, a linguist who's committed to preserving American culture. I am a massive Celeste Ng fan, so I'm very excited about this long awaited release. I'm hoping for the brilliant characters and complex family relationships that she is so great at delivering. And I'm totally here for the exploration of nationalism and censorship that this one seems to promise. Coming on the 13th of October from Harper Voyager, we have The River of Silver by S.A. Chakraborty. This is a companion novel to the Dave Abad trilogy telling three new stories. If you've been following me over the past year or two, you may know that the Dave Abad trilogy is my favourite fantasy series of all time. These books just have everything you could possibly want in a fantasy series series, trust me. While I don't usually go for these companion novel type things, for this world I will read anything. Also coming on the 13th of October, this one from Dead Ink Books, we have Waiting for Ted by Marieke Big. This literary novel tells a story of aspiring housewife Rosalind over the course of one evening as she waits for her husband to come home. Dead Ink Books are one of my favourite indie publishers and just publishers in general, and this sounds lush. I'm really excited to read this one later this month. It sounds dark and tongue-in-cheek. I'm really intrigued to see what will happen. Another book coming on the 13th of October, this one from Picador, is Days Like These by Brian Bilston. So this is said to be a playful and innovative take on one of those a poem for every day of the year books. Brian Bilston is an incredibly accomplished, well-celebrated poet, and I just adore him. He has written some of the most hilarious and joyful poetry I have ever read. It is so wonderful and consumable. I could read his poetry forever. Coming on the 27th of October from HQ, we have Snowden for Christmas by Sarah Morgan. This is a contemporary women's fiction romance novel telling the story of a woman named Lucy who when delivering a business proposal in the Scottish Highlands gets mistaken for the man's wife and is then stuck there for Christmas. I just love reading Sarah Morgan's Christmas novels every year. They are so heartwarming and emotional and totally readable. The characters are so well-rounded, they are always so perfectly paced with the best endings. I'm just hoping for more of the same here. And finally, coming on the 17th of November by Nine Arches Press is Bunny Girls by Angela Redman. This poetry collection is said to be a spellbinding mixture of myth and magical realism, exploring themes of girlhood and sex and nature and aging. Nine Arches Press are another of my favourite publishers, and I am already such a fan of Angela Redman from her novel Something Like Breathing. I haven't read anything new by her in a few years, so I'm really excited to try some of her poetry. And that's it! Apparently, there is nothing good coming out in December. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I really hope you all enjoyed hearing about these new releases that I have already loved and hope to love. Please let me know of any other new releases that I have missed that you think I would like. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I hope you're all reading really great books. I can't wait to chat to you down below in the comments and I'll hopefully see you really soon in another new video. Bye everyone.